The name Leyland only appeared on the sides of tractor bonnets between 1969 and 1982, but during those 13 years, these mass-produced machines became well-known throughout the UK and the rest of the world. Renowned for their sturdy construction, good fuel economy and simple but effective design. That design evolved over the years from its beginnings with the Nuffield tractor line, through the age of the BMC-powered blue tractors and onto the superb synchro range of 1978 which carried on through the major facelift of 1980, emerging with a bright new yellow image and brand new Secura cabs. Throughout the history of the Leyland tractor, slow evolution was always the watchword rather than the brash new designs, and this meant that the product always had a strong heritage with parts being common to machines with well over 10 years between them. Popular with farmers, drivers and engineers, blue British Leyland tractors rolled out of the mass production lines of the Bathgate plant in Scotland throughout the 1970s. Even today, many of those tractors are still to be found, out on the farms earning a living, a great and lasting tribute to the only tractor company that remained truly British throughout its tractor making history. Sadly, the part that Leyland played in the tractor industry has been largely ignored in the past, but this programme is about to change all that. This is the story of the Leyland tractor. Hello and welcome to the first programme dedicated to the British Leyland tractor and one that includes many other famous tractor makes including Nuffield, Marshall and Track Marshall. The Nuffield Universal was introduced as a way of making use of surplus manufacturing facilities used by Morris during the war but now found without work in peacetime. By introducing a product such as a tractor, factories could be kept working including the Birmingham plant that would become the home of Nuffield tractors. When it was introduced, the Nuffield was a very advanced machine with streamlined styling, powerful engine, electric starting and five forward speeds. Aimed at the same market as the best selling Fords and Major, the Nuffield must have looked like a Rolls Royce next to the archaic machines rolling out of the Ford's Dagenham factory in Essex. And indeed, many users of the Nuffield refer to them with that accolade to this very day. The problem was that hardly any of these profits were put back into tractors, trucks or buses and designs began to stagnate through lack of investment. Add to this the new Conservative government under Margaret Thatcher who wanted to privatise nationalised companies such as British Leyland and it was only a matter of time before the writing was on the wall. Before the end came though, Leyland tractors would enjoy one more final swan song and this one would be bright yellow. <laughs> 